Welcome everyone. Today we'll be doing a card discussion video on the effect monsters, or rather all of the new cards in the Shark and Rio Duelist pack, but this video is on the effect monsters. Yeah, the pack was released uh, back in October in Japan. We're probably going to get it in the collector tin over in the TCG. So we're just going to cover the five card, the five effect monsters that were new to the set, and we'll go from there. Most of them, they are all used by Shark and Rio in the anime, as for the name of the set. So we're just going to jump right into it. So first, we'll talk about Double Fin Shark. Double Fin Shark. It's a fish level four monster. It's a very XC summon oriented card. Um, basically, when it's normal summoned, you target a level three or lower, three or four. Fish mo water fish monster from your graveyard and special summon it in face of defense mode. And its effects are negated, and you can't special summon any monsters besides water monsters for the rest of the turn. Which probably shouldn't matter since you're likely going to be special summoning this or using this card in a water. completely <laughs> or, likely or mostly water completely deck. water deck, yeah. So usually it's like a free Bahamut shark or an Abyss Dweller. Or feasibly, you could use it with the one, with the one water fish monster that works with this in terms of tuners, which is Fishboard Archer, Correct. because it's a level three fish, and you can go into. There's only one option for this. You can use that to go into Gungnir. <laughs> That's literally it in terms of water synchros. There is one other tuner you can use, but since there's no, since it's level four, it's Royal Swamp Eel, but you can't do that because there's no level 8 water oh. synchros, so you'd have to wait for the next turn. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll probably get a water synchro at some point that's level 8. Probably. Mm -hmm. Hopefully at that point. And, I mean, normally the Royal Swamp Eel only works as a synchro summon if you use other fish monsters, so it kind of works well with the sort of deck you'd be playing it in. And, I mean, even if that effect were active, Double Fin Shark would be able to use with it. But, uh, First of all, the rest of the deck and gives you a little more synchro options there. So next we have uh, Silent Angler, which uh, is, is again a level four water waterfish type monster. Very very useful card, especially for exceed summons, and it's a very easy to synchro summons as well. Yeah, all you have to do is control a water type monster, and you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, of course, you cannot special summon. Uh, other monsters other monster. from your hand for the rest of the turn. So it, that does mean you can't use more than one, which is probably a good balancing for this card because it's a really easy summonable card. However, it, since it only has 800 attack, it is a great target for Inferno Wreck to summon, which, I mean, technically could give you a free shark drake. So. Yeah, that would be really nice. Plus, you'd already have a water monster in the field, so. Yeah, you or could... you could go for two Bahamut sharks. Yeah, the like Bahamut Shark and Abyss Dwell, or use Bahamut Shark to something like a Nightmare Shark. You could get two Nightmare Sharks, that's an easy 4,000 damage. That yeah, That's over 8,000 damage on the board right there. <laughs> so if you have one Water Type Monster, Silent Angler, and Inferno Reckless Summon, that is over 8,000 damage right there. No, oh, the Bahamut Sharks can attack. But... Oh, that's true. You got that much attack. <laughs> but if you negate their effects afterwards, then they could attack? Feasibly, <laughs> yes. Feasibly, you could do that. So all you have to do is use a card to negate their effects without stopping them from attacking. Well, you can't use two... Have two breakthrough skills. <laughs> yeah, well, no, breakthrough skill only works on your opponent card. Doesn't it? I believe so. But, uh, basically, Silent Angular is just, like, the perfect fish monster to... Uh, I, w I was gonna say use Skill Drain, but that would also that prevent... That would stop the Nightmare. That's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, it's if like... they don't have a monster on the field to attack anyway, or to defend anyway, Feasibly, then yeah. that's over 8,000 still. But, basically... But yeah, Breakthrough Skill is the opponent's So, my bad. But Silent Angler, it's essentially just a perfect fish monster to complement any Synchro or Sea Summon, especially with Royal Swamp Eel again. Because Royal Swamp Eel, or, Royal, eh, Royal Swamp Eel can only be used with fish monsters, so Silent Angler is a perfect target to get a tuner and a non-tuner on the board and give you access to any of the player. Which is very true, and this card, of course, does not have the stipulation of uh, only being able to 
uh, special summon the water, water type monsters. <laughs> yeah, that's that kind of limits double fin shark in terms of sync capabilities, but silent angler works perfect. Um, that's about it about silent angler. So we'll move on to depth shark, which is sort of like a cyber dragon. Yeah. Kind of. It's a level 5 fish monster. It starts at 1400 attack, but its effect is. Um, its effect is during your opponent's standby phase, its attack is doubled until their end phase. It does. It has the clause you can normal summon without tributing if you control no monsters, so that's kind of why it's kind of Cyber Dragon esque. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh. So that's like 2800 on your opponent's yeah, it's turn. A, it's a free level 5 monster, and it has 2800 attack on your opponent's turn. Of course, you do have to use your normal summon on this card. You have to use your normal summon. That is that is kind of the stipulation. But it's a it's a very powerful opening move because if you can get it on your board the first turn, your opponent's looking at having to deal with a twenty hundred attack monster on the first turn, and you didn't need to use any resources at all. Yeah, and uh, Mother Grizzly is a great card to get this card out since it does have the fourteen hundred attack. Mm -hmm. Can, it also gives it a great way. It also means it goes right under bottomless, and, and then it's still a very strong monster in your opponent's turn. Yeah. So, so th that'll also help uh, stay on your field if you have a more rank five based, maybe fish deck. Uh, you can use it along with Panther and Eagle Shark if your opponent has two or more monsters, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll help bring out uh, the maybe what like a number. Number 94, number 73. Yeah. Those two that both require water monsters. Those two we are going to talk about in probably the next video. So. Yeah. For the new Xyz monsters in this set. But also, of course, you could go into, what is it, number 52? No. Um, Not 52. Oh, yeah, Earth. that's harder. Yeah, harder. 53. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that works there, too. Yeah, if, you have, if you have all three of those. Yeah, Panther, have. Eagle, and Depth Shark. Mm hmm. But, uh, yeah, Death Shark is just kind of a power play that doesn't take up much resources. And very good defense on your opponent's turn. And then next we have the last of the Sharks, at least in this set. It's Saber Shark. And this is... It's essentially the shark that augments the ability to do rank 5 base plays in Water Decks, which this set kind of introduced uh, with the addition of number 73 and number 94. Basically, it's a fact. It's a, it's a level four fish, so it works. It can be some someone normally, but up to twice per turn, you can target a fish monster on the field and apply one of these effects. You can and you can't special summon any uh, any non -wants, non water monsters during the turn. Um, but you can either increase that target's level by one or reduce that target's level by one. So if you use Saber Shark and complement say with a Silent Angler, you have the option to go for rank five, rank four, or rank three, which is a really very nice ability. Let's see, there's so many monsters you can go for with that. You have your like Leviathan Dragon for mm -hmm. three. You Leviathan have Dragon or Nightmare Shark, or Bahamut Shark or Abyss Dweller. Uh, Rank five, you got 73. Or you have Abyss Splash, Crystal Zero, Freezadon, Feasibly Even, Silent Honor Dark. Yeah, if you have those a, are all those are all water rank fives. So you need the third material for you. Do you would need three for Chaos one hundred one. Yeah, it's still very very helpful. So like if you have if you want to bring out um, if you have the ability to bring out another level five, then that'll help you get out your Chaos one hundred one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it mainly complements Silent Angler. Silent Angler and Saber Shark is like the perfect combination. Because it lets it gives you that option to give, go for three, four, or five with just the two cards. Yeah, it gives you such a great versatility. So many cards in your extra extra deck in a mm -hmm. um, water fish shark type of deck would be able to be summoned. Yeah. Sadly, double fin has the effect where it negates the effect of the monster that's summoned. So if you use double fin to revive a saber shark. It's only good for like fours, but even so. It's very nice. And the nice thing is that also it makes it so if you have it in shark stickers or it in like a, a different level three fish or it in a level five fish, you can orient them. You don't have as much versatility as if you have it with another level four. 
but you can change them to have mismatching levels to make it into something you can use. Also, if you have like two level threes, maybe uh, you can turn those both into level four, since it says up to twice per turn you can target one fish type yeah. monster. Yeah, if you have if you have two shark stickers with saber shark, that allow you to go into a shark tank or something like that. Mm -hmm. No, only shark tank. Right, because <laughs> that's the only water. It's that only. takes three. Yeah. And also feasibly, you could also use that in that situation. You can use saber shark to make the ability to have a shark Caesar or a triage clavia. Yeah, shark. Uh, Shark Caesar is definitely a card that could work well with this card. Help you bring out, like, you have this card, Silent Angler, maybe a few, what, Shark Stickers. Mm -hmm. uh, turn your Silent Angler and Saber Shark into level 3, and then you got a uh, Shark Caesar with potentially up to 5,800 attack. <laughs> all of <those> attacks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's about, about it about Saber Shark. It's just a very versatile card, lets you greatly expands the ability to do it sea summons in shark or fish based decks. Yes. I, think, I think it is important to note here on the tail end of this card that uh, it cannot be used for a synchro summon. Sadly, no. Yeah. That's the one clause about its effect is disappointing. But again, I mean, you can you, use it with... You could use it with other cards and that'll help you uh, change levels of your fish monsters yeah, I mean, for the synchro summons exactly. as long as you don't use it. If you have Saber Shark, another monster, and a tuner, then you could feasibly use it to alter the tumors. And, and that, that'll that help with, uh, what is it? it that, Maybe. Do, that does lock you in the water monsters using the effect during that turn, but it would feasibly help. It is a permanent change. Yeah, but uh, what is it? Fishburg Archer, Royal Swamp Peel, you could use those, and mm -hmm. you'd have less of a... Um, you'd have a little bit more variety other than Gungnir. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. All right, and the last effect monster is Guard Penguin, which is again another level four monster, but it is a winged beast. Water winged beast. Uh, it doesn't have any attack, but it does have twelve hundred defense. But its effect is that when you take damage from a card effect, you can special summon it from your hand, and then regain the amount of life points equal to what you took. So, anything like well, this would obviously be really good against burn decks, of course. <laughs> So you special summon this card pretty much any time since they're going to be trying to burn burn your life points. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably the most effective when they're using something like magic cylinder or something like that. But of course, this will help uh, against maybe Gaga Cowboy plays as long as it's not going to take out <laughs> all of your life points. Of course, because once you hit zero, you lose. Or any of those other random effects that just on the side note they deal some effect damage like. Number 104, cool. Masquerade, for example. Yeah. It's affecting the game effect, and then you deal 800 yeah. damage. Yep. So or Okaze, because, you know, <laughs> people play that card. Okay. Right. Kinotama, well, gotta watch out for those. Uh, the other nice thing is it is a it is a winged beast, but it is also a penguin. So that does give it a little more options. Uh, for example, Great Emperor Penguin, or The Great Emperor Penguin, has the ability to summon two penguins, though. Um, and normally that's. That was useful before. You, I mean, you could do normal rank flower plays with like flying penguin or nightmare penguin. But the nice thing about guard penguin is it is a winged beast, so that does give you the option to now go into ice beast serial find, which is definitely a good card you're gonna want to summon because, of course, you can negate all the uh, effects currently on the field and then gain 300 attack for every card on the field. Exactly. And then there's always the option is it does not specify when you take damage from an opponent's card effect. So if you have a card that deals you damage to yourself as well, um, you can use that to take advantage of that and regain your life points, as well as get a free monster. On the field. Yes. I think we always have trouble coming up with examples <laughs> for that, though. But uh, I'm sure there are, there are examples out there. And <laughs> you can take a look and see if in your deck you have any sort of cards that can backfire on you. And turn that into a plus. You just have to make sure that the card text reads like uh, you have to deal both you and your opponent damage as opposed to paying life points as a cost because yeah, it would not yeah, it would not work on paying life points. It's only when it deals damage. So yeah, definitely make sure you take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. But I think that's about it for the five effect monsters in the Shark and Rio duelist pack, at least the new ones that we are talking about. <laughs> so I 
guess we'll wrap it up here, and we will see you next time for the Xyz monsters. And then later after that, we're going to have one last video on the set, because there's a couple of spell and traps that don't really fit in with either of those two videos. We'll do a separate one on them. So, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.